Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jane Sutherland. In today's video, I'm not going to be sharing the original content that I really wanted to make, so my bikini body will have to wait because I am sick and tired. The past two weeks have been really amazing. I have felt physically stronger than I have in a really long time. And last week I was reminded of something that someone very dear said to me. They told me that I would arrive at a time and a space that I would sit and feel completely comfortable at the weight that I was and I would feel at home in my body. And I remember sort of laughing to myself because I thought, well, that's going to take a long time. I, at the moment, am 84 kilograms. I may have been 88 at the time that she told me this, but I really thought that I didn't feel comfortable in my body at 60 kilograms. How am I going to feel comfortable in like at this weight? And I think at the time that she told me that I was still very much putting weight and happiness in the same category and and weight and being comfortable also in the same category. But over these past couple of weeks, really practicing body positivity and really practicing self-love, I can with my whole heart say that I am comfortable with my body and I am comfortable with the weight that I am today. My body has come back to me in so many different ways and I have completely changed my mindset around physical activity from traditionally believing that a workout consisted of probably being very unhappy and being like torturing my body. I'm really starting to enjoy the last bit of summer that we have as well. And I've been swimming with friends and climbing stairs with loved ones and climbing mountains, just really embracing what it means to, to be body positive and be grateful for the fact that my body works. At the end of last week, I was really marveling in that mindset and then I got sick. I'm reminding myself that it is okay to rest. It is okay to not exercise and Previously, um, the times that I'd fallen ill, I would have been almost tallying up the, the days of exercise that I would have to make up, and I don't have to do that. I'm not going to focus my energy on the workouts that I have to do because now I'm resting because I'm sick. I'm going to focus my energy on helping my body heal and feel better. So as much as my mind wants to get up and run and move about, my body needs this time to rest. In this video, I really want to give you a couple of tips that I'm learning along the way and testing out while I spend some downtime letting my body recover from flu. My first tip is sleep. Sleep, 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 and more sleep. I really want to stress to you, the best thing to do is to just do nothing. I know that it can be difficult many times with sometimes the lifestyles that we have, but prioritize the fact that you need to get better to be able to be strong in the other days. It actually cuts your illness time a lot shorter to just take some days off and really rest. Number two is ditch coffee. It's a difficult one, I'll be honest, I had a cup of coffee yesterday. Although I had a cup of coffee, I had to drink a lot of water afterwards. Coffee dehydrates you and while your body is fighting illness, you want to hydrate as much as possible. So remember to drink a lot of water. I'm drinking a lot of ginger tea and it's really great. And any like natural teas, chamomile, you really want to drink a tea that doesn't have caffeine in it. But really the most basic and readily available fluid is water. So <laughs> I suggest that stick with water if you don't have any fancy teas. Number three is a bit more around what you're going to eat. I've been trying to eat a lot of broth and chicken stock and um, chicken soups, and I'm making sure that I'm getting a lot of hydration from my food. I am also lactose intolerant, so I don't eat dairy, but if you usually eat dairy and you fall ill, I'd suggest that during, just during your time of healing to limit or cut out dairy altogether. Personally, dairy just wreaks havoc in my digestive system and cutting it out, it has really eliminated a lot of abdominal discomfort and I truly feel that it speeds up recovery by taking it away. So just try it and see how you respond to it if you usually eat it and want to cut down on it while you are sick. 
I am also trying to eat as many foods very rich in probiotics. So I'm really eating it till it comes out of my ears and that is sauerkraut which I am so in love with. It's the easiest thing to make yourself. I'm going to link below a recipe of sauerkraut. I do have hopes to make a video on how to make sauerkraut, but for the meantime, there's a recipe down below that I really suggest you guys follow. And also, um, I'm drinking a lot of um, kombucha and kefir milk. I'll also link down below some articles on probiotic-rich foods so that you can read up a bit more about that. And it really is about healing from your gut. I really recommend probiotic rich foods. Also I want to recommend limiting your sugar intake while you are sick. So although I don't eat or well, I'm trying not to eat a lot of processed sugars, I am trying to limit my intake of natural sugars, so dates and honey. I'm just really trying to limit that because I am aware of the fact that my body needs a lot of energy to be able to digest sugar rich foods and I want all that energy of my digestion to go into the energy of healing my body from this illness. And my last tip, I think it's number four, is to slow down. It's alright not to be able to work out for a week or two and I am starting now to feel a little bit stronger because I spent a whole day in bed and I'm, I've never actually done that when I've been ill. I've sort of made sure that I've been busy in some way or another but I spent the whole day in bed trying to sleep and I think it paid off because this is my third day of been, being sick and I already feel like I can do some yoga and some pilates but I'm just doing it at home for the meantime and when I start feeling stronger I will try and do it at the gym or at the beach with a friend. Just know that it is really okay to rest and you don't have to feel like your mind has to rush your body into healing. Our bodies will tell us when they feel strong enough to get up and start going again. I hope that you have a great week filled with body positivity and love and I will see you in next week's video talking about my bikini body. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. I just want to say I've made a heck of a lot of effort for this video in my physical appearance. I've brushed my teeth. Ginger tea.